what's up everyone, this is Saiyan Sonic 91 back once again for some more Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last part we took out Anti-Guy and defeated the Master at the Dojo. In this part, we're gonna start off by finally doing what we've been putting off for quite some time, fighting Kensi Koopa. Basically what he does is block the road to to Koopa Village. Unless you pay, up, pay him a hundred coins, you won't be able to pass. Why you would want to go down this road again is beyond me. Whether it's to find maybe one star piece or whatever. When you can easily just use the pipe, but whatever. Um, it's weird enough. Kensi Koopa's one main weakness is putting him to sleep. I know, right? It's not like you'd expect that from a guy like him. It won't always work, but keep at it and it'll eventually work. In the meantime, this guy has some serious attacking prowess. If you do not dodge that attack, it's 10 damage to you. And that hurts. Yes! Now put him to sleep for four turns. While giving you time to set up your assault on him. And like the second phase of the Master and the Crystal King, he has 70 HP as well. What the hell is up with these guys and that number? Basically, you cannot hurt him unless his shell has been flipped. Which sucks. <laughs> Because for me, my attacks are mainly hammer it until it's dead. So if you're like me and you like using the hammer as opposed to the jump, put him to sleep first and then tip him over and then finally lay the smack down on him. If you really want to survive this, this is, this is your only option. Otherwise, you're gonna have a really hell of a really bad time with him. He will decimate your team. He will decimate you and your teammate. But mainly you. With that stupid jump attack. Now, go back to sleep so I can continue beating your ass. Either use Mamar or the Sleepy Sheep to put him to sleep. Really, there is. There is no other option. Hear that, or use the repel gel, because those are very helpful. And you have to hit him twice in order to put him down. Otherwise, he stands up still. And that's the end of Kensi Koopa. Sucker. What do you got? And then he runs crying like a bitch. Hells yeah. If you're not prepared, that that could easily be the hardest fight in the game. But if you use the sleep, the sleep item, or the sleep star power, you should have really no trouble at all defeating him. Definitely not someone like the master. It was definitely a, a much bigger threat. Okay, now that we can finally get focused, okay, is there anything in here? Yeah, nothing worthwhile. I don't really have the coins for it. Anywho, what we should start off by doing is going to Tasty Shop. And see what she can cook with our various good days. Use this potato. Just the potato. See what you can whip up, Mrs. Tasty. Okay, well, get your face out of my face. You get the potato salad. See what we can do with these mushrooms. Make them a bit more effective. Nah, I won't use another one. Just use the mushroom. See what we can get out of this. Something a hell of a lot better, I can guarantee that. Let me get the fried shroom. A bit more HP and a uh, little bit of FP. Okay, let's see what we can do with a super shroom. Eh, 
and a mushroom. I should really move a lot because she's st starting to look weird. Ooh, what do we got? We got hot shroom. God, does that look suggestive. Alrighty then, let's try something a bit different. This. And another one. Wells has made a couple couple of interesting dishes. Let's move on to Koopa Goot's favors. Okay, I believe last time he asked for Luigi's autograph, and we have it, thankfully. And I think for old time's sake we're gonna switch out to Goombario. It's been a while since he's been been behind me. Correct, it is. Alright, Koopa Koop, we got you your autograph. Here you go. And we get one coin. Not surprised. Okay, what do you want this time? Okay. Drop this wallet. Oh, don't worry, I'll find it. And I'll take it for myself. Yo, Colorado, what's up? Belief. We got a wallet! Hello, Chuck Quizmo. Let's try out the quiz. See what we know, see what we don't. What's the name of the leader of the Red The Goomba King. And we get a star piece! Seven in a row, huh? You don't show up that often, dude. You really should. Although, you could just go back and forth between this and the next screen. Fly would show up. Eh, maybe one out of ten, one out of ten tries. Here's your wallet, dude. Get one coin again. What's the favor? A tasty tonic. Eh, that's no problem. I don't think there's one in the village though, so we may have to look elsewhere for it. Maybe there's one in the shop. And nope, not in this one. I know there's one in Koopa. I'm getting my names mixed up, for God's sake. Toad Town. I know there's one, uh, the second shop. The one that sells the Super Shroom and the Stone Caps. Don't know why they wouldn't include the Wing Cap and the, the Invisible Cap. Just complete the entire trio of the caps. Yes, I'll take it. That's you. Of course, he needs something like a tasty tonic. They're cheap, and you don't carry them around, so you're essentially forced to run and go get one. I don't know anyone who's really used the tasty tonic before. It's kind of a useless item. Thing is, they're dirt cheap. So you don't really expect yourself to get one. And we get another coin. Start handing out the damn star pieces again. Fortune teller, huh? Another damn autograph. Bastard. So now he wants more lovely's autograph. I thought Mer Lovely was the pink one. And speaking of which, she hasn't shown up, like, at all, so I think her her uh, specialty is finally done with. 
Don't know if I'm gonna go back and re renew it or whatever, but... Eh, I don't really need it. Hasn't really, hasn't really, uh, been in effect ever since we... Shit, ever since Chapter 6. I don't think she ever did anything during that. I don't know if I'm gonna be grinding off screen for levels. I kinda think that's not really cheating, but kinda just placing the odds in my favor. Yes, I want your autograph. It ain't mine. Really? <sighs> Why am I everyone's goddamn errand boy? Or in Mario's case, errand man! Now I gotta go clear across the goddamn world just to get one stupid crystal ball, and that's probably gonna lead to something else that's gonna piss me off. God damn it! All this for fucking star pieces. It's not worth it. Now if it was something like a super duper badass badge and I could see it, all the work would be worth it. Like, like have all abilities cost like no badge points or have no, like no FP. Like no, like all abilities don't use FP. That'd be something worthwhile. Something worth doing all this shit for. But unfortunately, there's no badge like that that exists in this game, and unfortunately, there's no one all-powerful badge in the game. It's really how you look at them. One badge that doesn't get used by another person might look like the worst badge, and the other one, another person who looks at it might say it's the best badge in the game. Who knows? Thank God. I'm not dealing with you. I had to go all the way back to the Shooting Star Summit just to give this to her. That bitch! Oh, God. Hopefully this will be the last side quest video. No, oh, really, the, the other one was just the first one. Why am I not using the speedy spin? Am I nuts today? Let's see. Not using any... Not finding anything right now, so let's just equip the speed spin. And you can see that there's a definite difference. Shoot you a bit faster and a bit farther, but you still have to jump to make it, you know, effectively a little bit different between that and the normal spin. So they can continually do it with the jump. I swear to god. A lot of speedrunners use this tactic. Spin, jump, spin, jump, spin, jump. All throughout the entire run. Here's your ball. Now give me the damn autograph. Thank you. you better enjoy this, you old bastard. It's either a star piece or it's gonna be the gold credit. Not too sure whether it, whether it's either or. Again, it's been some time since I played this, and I'm tired of using that goddamn excuse. This game is actually one of my favorite RPGs. I may have mentioned that before. I don't know, but if I did, I'm sorry. But it is one of my favorites. Not my favorite. Everyone who watched my last play should know what my favorite is. If they remade that, I swear to God, I would have a heart attack. Seeing, seeing Jake Cocoon in HD, that would be the absolute tit. That would be in my collection instantly, and no matter what system it's for, I'd buy it just for that. Here's your autograph. Don't, don't mention fuzzies, please. God, don't mention fuzzies. Now, what is it that you want to give me? It's three star pieces. I had a feeling it'd be that. A salad. 
Oh, he wants the news. Well, that's not too bad. I mean, that's right outside the, the sewer, so... That's actually quite the speedy trip from what I just ran through. In case you don't know, Tome Town News is right next to Merlin's Whirling House. So it's not that hard to miss. Ooh, baby. I made the news, and I love it. And there's some gossip behind here. I think that should be enough for him. There are some extras in the game that probably should be shown, but I think pretty much everyone else has shown them. And why the hell not? I might as well show them before I end the game. Just to show just about everything I can. Be the semi-completionist I can be. <laughs> You're hip. Thankfully, I know just where to get one. It's somewhat close by. Down the down the hole we go. One right in the booze mansion. I think it's only a short spin away. But then again, I have to contend with these damn stairs. Hey, buddy, you got something for me? Expensive, but well worth it. Now, am I? Do I have a letter for him? Yep, it is. It's Igor. Here's your letter. Why a ghost would be getting letters is beyond me. From boo to you with a smile. That's... That's just weird. Okay, do I have any else for these guys? Nope. Shit, I had one for Merlot and I was just there. Damn you, hindsight! Okay, you gotta make sure not to use the life stream on myself. That will be an easy task. I'm just getting sir pieces up the wazoo now. Those knife the ones that are hidden. Just the ones that they give you. Something tells me I'm not gonna be able to finish all this stuff in one one part, but that's to be expected. Boogie's got a lot of favors to do. I believe he has something around maybe 20 favors to go through. There you go. And then you won't die. Another coin. And we get the gold credit. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop there for now, so let's just let's just see the Koopa that we have to give this letter to. Not him. Uh, I think I know which one. Just the one. Hello! Like I said before, he almost always shows up here. Okay, what's the question now? What color are Luigi's pants? They're blue. Those are not pants, they're overalls, but whatever. 
See ya, Chuck. Yeah, I'm not gonna grind to see his ass, so... Whatever. I believe he's the one. Yep, he is. He's Goofer. And I believe this is part of the chain layer that we have yet to complete. From Lust T. Fish mail in the Toad Town Porch. I'll make sure to give it to him. This will all be part of the of the giant extravaganza I have going on right now. I think that's gonna do it for today, ladies and gentlemen. So next time in Let's Play Paper Mario, we're gonna hopefully complete the rest of the <laughs> Koopa Coop favors, and maybe we'll finish the chain letter and get the prize afterwards. Because it's kind of, kind of not worth a worthwhile prize. But whatever. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.